Okay, Aries, so I'm using two decks. The other deck here I'm going to be using is the uh, Aquarian Tarot uh, by David Palladini. I think I pronounced that incorrectly, but... Um, so, yeah, um, here we go. So, Aries, um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician in Reverse. And this is the vibe we have going on for February. So for February, it looks like you may be having a difficult time. Something's in the way. Some, there's some kind of obstacle within your life or around you or a complication of something which is not allowing you to be able to move forward and manifest something very important. You're trying to manifest something that you're really good at. You're trying to manifest a dream. You're trying to manifest what is right for you, Aries. You're trying to manifest it. You're trying to bring it forth right here and right now but it looks like that you're having a hard time with that okay i see that there is some kind the center of the reading uh we have you know the nine of cups here and um we it's showing that there's some kind of dissatisfaction it seems like there's nothing right now that is working or that's making a difference or that that's that's allowing you to feel satisfied it's almost like you're feeling like failure 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 or unhappiness, unhappiness, unhappiness. And what's crossing you is the six of wands, which is saying you have been through a lot, Aries. You've been through you've been through struggle after struggle, competition, or whatever this is. You've been through a lot, and nothing's you know everything just seems to be against you, completely against you. But even though things have been against you, you still are not pulled down. You're still you're still you know moving forward. You're still still wanting and trying to manifest that in which is right for you and what it is that you want. In the recent past, uh, it looks like you've had some kind of money issues. It looks like there's some kind of demotion at work maybe, uh, or your business has not been doing well. Uh, you're not making maybe as much money as you used to. So there's some kind of loss here as far as um, diminished income, diminished income. If this is not income for some of you, if this is relationship uh, related, you know, there's some there's a lack of um, seeing your partner, for instance. Uh, maybe you're not able to see your partner as much. Maybe the relationship is diminishing and you're feeling more and more alone. Um, this is kind of a sense to me that um, there's a dissatisfaction um, in the relationship, uh, whether it's work or um partnership or whatever the relationship is that you're, that you're having um also i see that we have several cards here that talk about how much you've been through you've been through a lot aries you've been through hell it looks like um it's almost like you feel so drained at this point you don't have feel like you have enough energy to continue and your advice here and what is crossing you you know is the six of wands that talks about you know, yes, you are. It's it, there is a lot of stress. There is a lot of um, activity and things going on within you, and your mind is now feeling your your mind is now feeling um, drained from all the mental stress and the mental thoughts and the mental challenges you're going through. And you really just want it to be over. You're like, I hope this is it because you just can't take anymore. It's almost like, you know, I can't really take any more of this. It's, something needs to change, right? And you're like, nothing's really been working for you. Um, but, you know, the challenge here is to stay, continue to stay, uh, be the butterfly and continue to rise above, continue to rise above the conflict and keep fighting because the more and more we, we, we persist, the, 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 then we, we it eventually, eventually you will become successful and you will um, achieve a lighter, easier flow and it won't, things won't be as, as hard and, and, and as hard. Um, the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles is here that, that this is coming in for you. And, um, you know, this is, this is you, or, you know, this is somebody working really, really a lot. This is somebody working a lot, focusing on their work. Somebody's focusing a lot on work. I wouldn't say too much. Um, but it could be because I see this reading here. It, I mean, I do see that this is a lot of work involved and, and somebody is putting in a lot of work, whether this be, uh, again, money related or relationship related, this, mainly talks about money, but it can be a relationship. And somebody's putting a lot of work into time and effort, and they're doing really well at what they do, and they're making a lot of money, and they're just uh, really, really um, putting putting their time and, and investing their time and money or investing their time to make money. And it's just, it might be too much for some people because, or it might be affecting something here, um, causing to, somebody to be unsatisfied or 
you know, I, maybe you, the, you're making a lot of money and you're, you're putting a lot of work, but maybe there's some kind of need now to expand. Some of you guys need to expand your business and that's what you're trying to do. Maybe it's just, maybe you're tired of doing it alone and maybe now is the time to expand the business and uh, grow, grow the, grow it. Uh, so maybe that's what you guys are trying to manifest and bring forward is maybe a new plan, uh, a new way of um, doing this business um, in a more efficient, maybe it's, maybe it's to give you more time. Maybe some of you guys need more time. So in the advice section, we do have the moon card here. So you guys could be dealing with a, um, a cancer possibly or a Pisces or I mean a Scorpio. Um, but this is the moon card and, it, and it's, the advice here is telling me that there's a need for you guys to meditate. There's a need for you to find find some clarity within your mind. Find find the um, something needs to be illuminated uh, within your life um, to help you get a better um, a better clarity on and in direction within your situation here. Um, and then we have the, the King of Cups here. And um, so this could be somebody else. This could be a male or female. And this person could be coming towards you, Aries. This person is a very, uh, this person is open. Their heart is open. They want to share their heart op openly. Um, if it's not really love related, it's just that somebody's coming in to offer love, friendship, um, emotional support of some kind. So there is somebody coming in to give you this some kind of help or emotional support. And we have a two of wands and this is, um, you know, talking about somebody within your environment. They're really, really trying to make a decision. They're planning their future, whether it be, um, there's somebody around, you know, they may need to be make, you may be needing this person to make a decision about what their plans are for their future. They are, they need to make plans. They want to make plans and they are doing it. So maybe your success or your ability to move forward is, has to do with this person's decision. So I think you're waiting to find out what these plans are. And, um, maybe that's what this moon card is here. Maybe you're, you know, a lot of you are just really trying to find some, some answers and a little bit more clarity. And, you know, we do have the devil card here in reverse, which tells me that somebody's coming out of a time where they felt very in a, like an, uh, stuck in an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy relationship, work, 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 relationship, uh, addictions, whatever, this unhealthy attachment. And um, it's you're it's like you're um, you're hoping to maintain any temptations that are around you. I think you guys are trying to maintain a very good, um, healthy, positive way of life. And that's what all this could be about for those that are addicted. You know, you're working and working and working, but things are very, you're, maybe you're still unhappy and you know, there's, you're struggling, struggling, struggling against this addiction or against this unhealthy thing. And you're, you know, the 10 of cups is here. You're trying to become the magician. You're trying to become the master of your life and you are almost there. Because it's in reverse does not mean you're not going to get it. It just means that it, you're working towards it. You still haven't 100% reached that level. So keep moving forward because that's what this card is all about. It's about, you know, um, against all odds, you're making it. And this card says you are being, you are making it. So keep um, meditation is very, very, very good. And uh, meditation just doesn't always mean that we're going to sit there and wait for the answers to get hit us and our, hit a, hit our minds. I mean, yes, that would be wonderful, and that's what happens eventually. But meditation is about quieting our minds, quieting, quieting all the demons and all the mind swarming mind thoughts that are going around in our mind. But again, this card could have to do with a Scorpio um, or a. Um, cancer person that you're dealing with also we have water a water sign here and then we also have a um earth sign so you also could be dealing with a virgo a capricorn or a taurus and you could be dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio um you also could be dealing with a capricorn if this is not you know this is a not, whatever this unhealthy attachment is you're i think a lot of you guys are really uh, afraid that um 
you know, you, you don't want to be tempted and you don't want to do the wrong thing and you don't want to get stuck in a bad situation that you feel uh, chained to and that's really going to be unhealthy for you. So don't fear it, of course. Keep fighting and keep struggling against the any unhealthy attachment. Nothing's worth being in a relationship that's codependent or work situation where you where it's absolutely killing you. Obviously, it's really hurting you because look at this. We have the Ten of Swords here. There is absolutely no way you can even go forward, keep going um, with any unhealthy addictions or, or people or anything in your life. So obviously um, you're at the verge of a very success, successful situation because the last card we have is the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is 100% on their game. And we also had, you know, the Seven of Pentacles, somebody working, working and being very successful. So... You may have a job offer coming in at the, by the end of this month or somebody who's willing to work with you. Whoever the seven of, cups, seven of Pentacles is that's working um, really hard that's coming in for you this month, it could very well be this King of Pentacles uh, offering, you, you, offering exactly what it is maybe that you're needing, the, an expansion for the business or an expansion um, financially and some kind of job offer for, for them to maybe um, offer something for your what you're doing here, your services. So um, a lot of you guys are going to be very successful in the end. I really see that. Okay. So I think this uh, magician is going to be manifesting for you by the end of the month. Um, let's go ahead and pull a couple more cards for you. What is the uh, final messages for Aries? All right, so you guys are waiting, unfortunately. There's things, there's the struggle, it says that, you know, there's zero communication coming in, there's no um, job offers, there's no emails, there's no phone calls, um, blah, 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 blah. And it looks like you're doing everything you can to uh, try to um, make something happen, to make these phone calls, to make these emails come in, to make, you know, some movement. There's just no movement. There's just such a delay. And... Um, it's not your fault. The delay is not your fault. So anybody who's trying, you know, if, if you guys are beating yourself up, please don't. This is not your fault. There's a delay. So like I say, by the end of the month, there is something here positive. There's a, uh, there's a person here right here. Uh, you will be receiving um, the what it is that you're waiting for, okay, by the end of the month. All right, what is the messages for Aries? Hmm, let's see. Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Okay, so I wanted to get clarification on why the Nine of Cups is here in Reverse. And we got the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. So it looks like um, the doors are not opening for you. Somebody's not coming towards you. Obviously, things have been very difficult, like we already know. And there's been delays. This is about delays. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about karma, the right, perfect timing, right timing. And... It's almost like until the right, until the door turns, until the person comes, person thing is going to come towards you. You're not, you're feeling like I'm not going to be satisfied no matter what. Um, you're just waiting, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, Aries, you guys are waiting and, and the wheel of fortune, it's all about karma. You can't, you know, you can't, it's again, it's not something you're, it's not your fault. This is just, um, it's a delay. It's, um, it's not, it's not the perfect timing. So when you guys are watching this video, right, you will, by the end of the month, there is some kind of success here. There's this father of pentacles. Okay. So you're going to have, I'll go ahead and pull a card for that too. But yeah, um, hang in there guys, hang in there. Let's do another card for the father of pentacles. This wonderful, 
earthy, beautiful earth sign that is very stable. Is that that could be you, Aries. This Father of Pentacles could actually be you by the end of the month. It doesn't have to be somebody else coming in to offer you something. You might be the Father of Pentacles starting your own business, being your own boss, being the manager, whatever. Yep, we got the judgment card. Why? And I, that was to clarify the Father of Pentacles. Look at that. There is a second chance. There's a second chance for you guys, Aries. There's a second chance for you. And when I say second chance, it could be with a relationship. You may be getting a second chance with this person, this Father of Pentacles, which also could be a Queen of Pentacles, this male or female. And you could be getting a second chance. So this offer could be very well to uh, offer a relationship, a very stable, uh, financially um, stable and uh, grounded and wonderful person who is very mature. Um, this person doesn't mess around. And you could be getting a second chance with this person. If it's not a relationship, then Aries, you guys are getting a new, a brand new um this offer is going to be something that is definitely, it's almost like you're calling in life. This is what you were meant to do. This is what um, is going to help you really put you in a position where you're going to be following your path in a very uh, healthy way. And it's going to lead you to um, a higher, a higher, a higher level within yourself. Okay. If it's a relationship, the relationship, same thing, you're going to be getting a second chance. Okay, guys, I hope you like this reading. Please leave me a message comment. I mean, in this comment section, if it uh, resonated with you, let me know what you think about this reading. Also, um, uh, if you like this, if, if it also, if, if you could hit the like button, that would be great too. Um, it really helps me and my channel. So I'm going to do one more card for you. And this is by the sacred rebel, uh, Oracle deck by Alana Fart Fairchild. Oh, there's your card right there. Every journey starts with a single step. Every journey starts with a single step. And this person has a suitcase right there. They're holding a suitcase. And this is all about um, taking with you, Aries, taking with you on, on a journey all the things that you need and surprising, being surprised on how little you actually do need to take with you on your new journey. This is somebody who's getting ready to start a new something, a new job, a new relationship, a new life path maybe, just a new life, a new direction, could be even travel. So, but it, it, it's definitely all about um, step by step and... Um, Every single step starts with one little miniature step. So hang in there for those of you that have had the delay, that, that, have, that are fighting the struggle, that are unhappy, they're not, their cups aren't fulfilled, and the wheel has not turned yet for you. It's, tr it's going to be turning, I believe, by, for sure, by the end of this month. I see it right here. So I would love to know what that is for each one of you. 